Hi, this is on Enter Flash Basics, and I'm Worth. And in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about colors inside of Flash. We're going to learn how to do some radial, linear, um, bitmap filling inside of your colors. And where I am right now is inside of the Flash environment. And you should be able to get here by now. And there's nothing special about what's going on here. I just have four uh, squares on the screen. You can do that by selecting your rectangle tool and punching them out. Um, if you've seen my previous videos then you should know exactly what's going on and how to do these uh, rectangles on the screen. If you don't, go to my previous videos and you will learn. And what we're going to do in this is we're going to change the colors of them. Not just any old colors like we did before. Um, we're going to actually put some special colors inside of them. And what special colors am I talking about? Well, let's click on the first one, and with me selecting the first one, the way I do that is go to your selection tool and just select your item. And before, what we would do is just go to the fill color, and we find a color that was pleasing. So we go to purple, like, well, that's a nice color, that's exactly what I wanted. But what if we want to do something where we want to have purple going to blue or purple going to yellow, something to that effect? And we want to do that in a linear fashion where purple starts at the beginning and yellow start or or it ends at yellow or purple ends at yellow. How we do this? Well, let's select uh, that color. We select it and we're going to go to the color icon up here. If you don't have color, the color, you can go to window and within window you should find color. There we have our color icon. And what we're going to do is up here in this drop down menu, they have your fill style. And you can go to linear, and that's what we're going to be doing linear. Um, unfortunately, I didn't select my item, but that's okay. Select my item that I want to change. I go and change the fill style, go to linear, and this is what it changes to a linear style. But you're saying to yourself, those colors are ugly, and that's not, not what I wanted. So, what you want to do is look at these source colors and say okay these are the colors that are available well I want to change them well how do you do that by double clicking them yeah I need some practice I know how small these little icons are but you double click them and you find the appropriate color I had purple and if you notice my cursor is an eye drop so I can actually go onto the screen and pick a color that I want that if it's on the screen I can do that Right now I have the purple, and look at that. It takes the purple that I've used my eyedropper on to get. And I want a yellow. So now I have from purple to yellow. And you're like, wow, this is really cool. Now I have the ability to change it from purple to yellow instead of just having a single solid color. What if you want to add more than just one color at the beginning and one color at the end. Maybe you want some intermediate colors. And the way you do that is by taking your mouse and clicking with inside of it. So now that I clicked inside, I have the ability to um, add more colors. And just like before, you can double click and change it to a color that you want. You can see me, I'm dragging these colors around and when I'm dragging these colors around, they actually change the ratio of the colors, meaning they change how much the color is inside of the um, shape. So now I'm by me dragging this brownish color over to the purple, there's less and less purple with inside of my shape. And this is the same for the radial also that we're about to do. So now we know how to add the colors. How do we take it away? What if we, we say to ourselves, man, that green is really awful looking. So what you want to do is you want to click and, and drag down you want to click and hold and drag down that that color you don't want and it removes it so we know how to add and we know how to remove there has to be a minimum of two colors so let's go on to the next thing that we're going to do so we select our item and we go to the uh, fill style again inside of fill style we go to radial now look at that we have a circle that radiates out these colors. Our, it, it remembers the um, linear colors that I set up. I'm just going to remove one of those colors. And instead of purple to yellow, maybe I want yellow to purple. The, the purple radiates in the middle. So the way I could do that 
is just drag one from here and then just do the crossover by just holding and dragging and look at that I've changed the source from a purple to a yellow there's another thing I want to point out is um, alpha now alpha is um, you can think of it right now as the transparency inside of uh, inside of your colors so if I double click on this purple you see all these options and you also see alpha and if I turn down this alpha alpha you'll be able to see what's going on behind the item now I have a white stage so there's not much to see but there is you can see that it brightens up and it goes into a more white um, look last but not least let's go into the bit map um, I'm gonna click on the final square that I have and I'm gonna go into bit map now I already have a bitmap available and, and that's my face what you can do or what most likely will happen is uh, an import screen will come up like so and you get to pick the bitmap of your choice uh, bitmap is the uh, is anything that's a picture so it's a ping a JPEG a PNG anything of that nature so I'm gonna go to um, uh, anything I want and after you've imported it, you should see it as a box inside of the colors or the bitmap colors. So you can click on that and it becomes that. I know that's not much of a bitmap here. Uh, can't really see it, but you know what? I'm just going to go with my face for now. So there we go. We have our bitmaps, our, our radial, and our linear. Okay, now, I, now we want more control because we're control freaks. So we're going to go inside of our tools. You can close or collapse the uh, color now. And we're going to go inside of our tools. And right here, you probably see free transform tool, but we want to go to gradient transform tool. With gradient transform tool, we get a little bit more control. We have the ability, instead of, you see this linear is left and right, but maybe we want to change it to up and down. And with the gradient um, tool, transform tool, we'll, we're, we have the ability to do that so we can see that we have a center which you are able to move the source of the items so we can move it up and down left and right whichever way and we have the circle which allows us to rotate it so instead of going left and right we can rotate it so it'll go up and down and we can actually shrink it in and you can you can play with it depending on whatever you're drawing and give you that ability let's click on the radio and inside the radio, we have the ability to rotate the radio. That might not make much sense to you right now. Like, why would I want to rotate a circle? It's going to still be still going to be a circle. Um, but at the top, we have the ability to shrink it, which makes it less of a circle and more of an oval. So we can change the shape of that oval, and we can also change the source. So maybe one coming from the corner. And these are just all these things you can do with it and we have the bitmap. Now the bitmap is a little bit different. It goes around the initial bitmap that you have. So you have the ability to uh, mess around with the um, the structure of it. You can also shrink it in. So you have your bitmap repeating. This is great if you have tiles. So if you uh, import anything that has to do with tiles, this is the, th this is the way to do it. Instead of uh, copying and pasting a whole bunch of bitmaps, just use the bitmap and the color icon to do that and we can rotate it and we can have some pretty neat wallpaper so have that in consideration so now you know how to import and use bitmaps um, you know how to use radial, you know how to use linear you know how to alter them one last thing I want to do is I'm going to go to the selection tool and select the uh, stage just click anywhere on the stage or off the stage and we're going to go to the properties and inside the properties you should be here where it says uh, flash document and it has all these settings all good and what we want to change is the background color so right here where it says background and you see a color box you go and you change it and I've changed mine to blue now you can see that you know how to change the background color of your project which is a great thing to know so this is Worf. Thanks for watching. Visit my website on enterflash.blogspot.com. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, rate, and uh, comment on my video. It's much appreciated and shows your support. 
Thank you for watching on Enter Flash.